Good morning, Bunny Girl. Did you sleep well? Any sweet dreams? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. These handcuffs are not very comfortable. But I don't trust you enough to yet let you sleep with me without taking these kind of precautions. You understand? I can't give you the opportunity to hurt me when my guard is down. Even though I'm sure that deep down you are madly in love with me. But perhaps there's still a part of you that persists in resisting. And frankly, I don't want to restrict you to the basement. After all, you're not a slave. <laughs> I much rather let you sleep in our bed. Yes, I said our bed. After all, it's normal for a couple to share the same bed, no? Now I have to get up and get dressed. So, one last kiss. Honey, I need you. Which one should I wear to match my outfit? My black leather jacket or my boomer? You are absolutely right, my darling. This jacket will go perfectly. You know, I was planning to dress in you like this one day, with high heel boots and white tank top like the one I'm wearing. But for now, I think your bunny girl costume is perfect. And let's not forget those bunny ears on top of your head is so cute on you. <laughs> Besides, the difficulty on which you walk in these boots reassure me about your ability to run away. Oh, you noticed my tattoo. It's true that before I had it covered, but it's okay. I can show you. I'll even show it to you a little closer. You see, just above my left breast. Yes, it is indeed your name that I wrote there right next to my heart right next to you <laughs> you love it don't you good i knew you would like it today is a special day well it's been two years since you came to live with me two years some people would say I kidnap you. <laughs> Such a joke. But these people don't understand love, you see. They can't imagine the bond that unites us, that unites our two souls. Of course you're right. But I don't count this moment of confusion when you thought it was good to get away from me. I knew at that moment you were lost, but don't worry, I'll fix it. I'm gonna tattoo my name on your chest. <laughs> so wherever you go, you remember me our love when you get dressed up in that bunny suit when you look at that mirror and there I am my name next to your heart <laughs> look I have all the necessary tools next to the bed in this box and I even had the opportunity to practice. 
That way, I'll be sure it will be absolutely perfect. And once I'm done, I'll make you a special meal. With one of your favorite dishes, prepared with all my love, all my attention. <laughs> Plus, if this one works well, then I can't wait to tattoo one in your womb. <laughs> ah, yes, a womb tattoo. That's why if you ever. Cheat? Well, not that I don't trust you, but I'm a paranoid man. You see, I have imagined countless times you fucked some other guys beside me, and oh, how my anger flew, and the ways I—I'm、uh, sorry for derailing the conversation. That way, the fictional guy will see your womb tattoo, and knew that it's mine, mine and mine alone. <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited over the idea. I wonder which design should I choose. What? You don't want me to tattoo my name on you, but I thought you finally accepted my love. I was right to leave you tied up this morning. I knew you would resist. You were going to have to get used to the idea. Guess what? I'll tattoo you no matter what. You better stay calm. I couldn't stand it if you make me feel this tattoo. Hey, stop! Stop struggling. All right. You don't want to be quiet. I said, "Stop moving around." You dare to disobey and resist me? I'll choke you till I see the whites in your eyes. Now, for the last time, stop moving. Good. I'll let you choose, right or left. Honey, if you don't choose, I'm gonna choose for you, and you are not gonna like it at all. <laughs> oh, baby, still so stubborn, huh? Very well, I want you. So it will be both. Both what? <laughs> Both hands, of course. I'm gonna break every single finger on your adorable little hands, one by one, taking all of my time. I told you, I warn you. Don't resist me. But you keep doing that over and over and over, and that's why it's making me very, very angry. I guess you're happy now. Of course, it's not too late for that. So, or is it gonna be? Or I'll start with your first finger. <laughs> Good. Ah.、Uh, I hope it's over for your rebellious attitude too. I wouldn't want to have to punish you again. Frankly, I don't like to hurt you. 
I would rather please you. <laughs> okay. Now that we have that sorted out, now let's put that thing aside and let's get back to work, shall we? And it's finished. Here. Oh, it's splendid! Such a masterpiece. I'm really happy with this tattoo. Here, let me show it to you. Just long enough for me to grab the mirror, and there you go. What do you think? Is brilliant. <laughs> Such a masterpiece! I adore every single ink, every single effort I put there. Oh, and let's not forget, your skin is such a nice canvas. So so beautiful! I can't stop staring at it. Such a wonderful tattoo. <laughs> See, it's much better when you're not squirming all around the place, right? Oh, darling, don't cry. Why are you sad? Is it the pain from the needle? Oh, here, here. Let me get you a painkiller, all right? Oh, please answer me. Oh, let me comfort you. Let me give you a big, big hug. I know what would please you. I know. A good meal, and that's good, because it's time to eat. <laughs> Here, let me untie you and take you to the living room. Get up, my love. Yes, like this. Oh, wait. I'll help you. Let me grab your wrist.、Mm, it's okay. Can you stand up? All right. Follow me. We'll go to the living room for dinner. You know, you are improving fast. You look like you worn high heels your entire life. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me get the door. And your chair. That's it. Now, sit down. I was thinking about your little attempt at the rebellion earlier. And now I can't entrust you with a sharp or pointy objects. <laughs> which leave me, which means I have to feed you. Just like at the beginning of our relationship, remember, the first few days when I had to force feed you, because well. You didn't trust me yet, but at this time, it will be different. You won't resist unnecessary, will you? So I'm gonna start by taking your hand, and I'm gonna tie them to your chair. Just a simple precaution. You understand, right? Good. Now, come on, give me your hand. <laughs> That's it. Good girl. Now wait quietly for me to come back. The meal is almost done, and all that remains is to cook it. It's here. The meal is ready. 
I've only made one plate since I'm gonna feed you. I thought it would be easier if you both ate at the same dish. Well, besides, I think it will reassure you to see me eating from the same plate as you. So I prepared ourselves a homemade burger, with fries and your favorite drink. You do remember your favorite drink, don't you? Are you happy? Say it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm so happy you like it. I spent a lot of time there last night before I could finally lay down next to you. I even made the burger bun myself. Nothing is too complicated or too good for the love of my life. My bunny go. <laughs> I think it's a good time to tell you about us, and how I see our relationship. If we forego that little difficulties this morning, I find that you've improved in your behavior. You rejected me lesser, and you're even starting to become obedient. And I. Think that's a good thing. <laughs> It means that our relationship is progressing. We are starting to look more and more like a normal couple. And one day, I believe one day, I'll be able to trust you enough to no longer keep you tied up. Of course, it won't be easy, and it'll take a long, long time. But I'm sure we get there once this stage is over. We can start considering marriage. <laughs> oh, don't make that face. I'm sure that's what you want deep down. And once we get married, we can go further. Like a family. I want to be your husband. I want to be the father of your children, and our future children. You won't be able to escape it. And of course, the bunny suit stays on. 